Hi, today I want to show you how the AppMaker plugin works. We have a plugin that's available to download from the WordPress. This here is the plugin. This plugin connects your website to the mobile app. That means this plugin can take all the information required to display on the app like product categories, products, uh, payment gateways, shipping details, uh, your account features, the plugins that you have installed, the third party plugins you have active on your websites. Uh, so this here is the in plugin installed on the WordPress. How you clicking settings, you can access the dashboard for the app. Just like how you have a dashboard for your WordPress website to manage online, we have a dashboard for the app. Clicking go to dashboard, you can access the admin panel for the app. Here is where you make all the modifications, all the changes that's required in the app. This dashboard here lets you download the Android or the iOS file. Going to the customize section, here is where you customize the home page, home screens of the app. Uh, this is more like a page builder for the app. Uh, we are using native elements to display in here. All the product category, all these products are taken from your website and it's displayed. So if you make any changes on your website to any products or any categories, it will reflect automatically on the app. There is no separate maintenance required for the app and the website. So. Uh, if you are added new, new products or a new category in your website, it will display on this drop down list. It's a any change that you make on this page. For example, you can add a banner. This is an image scroller. You can add a grid. You can add a single banner. You can add product scroller to show your featured products on the home screen of the app. All of this can be done using the ad block function. So you can make use of these ad blocks to display these widgets on the home screen of your app. Pressing save here will sync those changes to both the Android and the iOS apps. Anyone using your app will see these changes that just been made instantly. This is the home screen for the app. Likewise, there is a navigation drawer for the app menu. Here also you can uh, completely customizable you can add icons you can display your categories that you have you can add callless function about us many many features the other thing the app maker plugin can do is send push notifications the customers install the app so like you can send offers like get 20 percent off for the next three hours check out so this is a sub message so you can send this message with an action to open a product or a product category pressing send will send the message to both the android and the ios apps they will receive this message instantly and they can click on it and it will take them to the action that you have decided decide the other function is the marketing for the app we are providing smart banner and email feed footer function for the app in the smart banner this is used to increase the app downloads for increase the app downloads for your customers for example if you have published your app you can submit the links in here and press enable smart banner you can type the text that you want to show description install now and we press save. So anyone logging in from your mobile browser to your website, WooCommerce website will see a banner like this and clicking the download will take them to the respective Play Store or App Store depending upon their device. This in turn increases, helps in increasing the app do downloads for your app. The other marketing feature that we have is the email footer. In this email footer, the email sent from your WordPress for any completed orders or any uh, order order regards is will send show a download button for play store and app store on the bottom of the email this again will help you in increasing the app downloads talking about the app maker plugin there are many customization options that you can do like for example if you go to the settings you can set 
you can uh, customize the single product page for the app. Type in the product ID from your WordPress and then it will show the widgets or the widgets available in that product page. So you can reorder that widgets in here. If you don't want to show any uh, short description in the app, you can set it as hidden. If you want to show it default or if it has some custom elements, you can go for the web view option as well. And pressing save, it will get synced across both all the Android and the iOS users instantly. Also, you can set to send push notification for the completed orders. Like if you change the order, some processing to completed and the our system will automatically inform the customers through push notification system. There are also many other customization options that you can use to customize the app, personalize the app according to your requirements. Like if enable repeat order, this using this feature, customer do not have to add the same products to cart again after a month if they want to buy the same things again. So clicking the, this will be a one click process they can those same products will be taken to the checkout process show order notes then again is another customization feature uh, on the my account page you get the option to disable the download buttons this again is instant if it re gets real time synced across the devices you can also set the caching for the app this is help will this will help with the performance if that's bothering you we have multi language. You can set a default language code for the app. We have social login function to simplify the login process in the app. We have a checkout settings that you can use to customize the checkout in the app. For example, if you can decide what all payment gateways available in your website should be displayed on the app. In my website, there is only cash on delivery available. But if you have any Stripe or payment gateways available, we can set to, to display that information as well. If you don't want to show the uh, shipping option, they can also do that. So all these customizations can be done from the dashboard itself. The other thing would be to go to the update app tab. Here is where you make the theme changes or the upload the branding assets for the app, like your store logo, your so the loading screen for the app things like that you can change the app name here you can upload an app icon here you can change the color codes for the app for most of the things in the app text in the app the add to cut button buy now button color uh, here is where you upload the branding assets for the app on the add-on section you can configure the features for the app you want push notification do you want any filters to be working in the app you want social login do you want custom font uh, then again there is much more customization options possible here if you want to make your app grocery specific that means the checkout process will be much faster they do not go to the detail product detail page to check out the product uh, language feature if you want users to f log into the app in order to use the app so these are the customizations that you can do. There are many options available here. You can do that all on your own with the free trial that we are providing. We have 14 days free trial. You can simply install the AppMaker plugin on your website and proceed from there to get to access all these features that we are providing. Uploading to the store is can also be done directly from the dashboard. Clicking here, we provide all the instructions required to upload the app to the stores. You can follow here. For subscribed customers, we are completely providing the assistance to upload the app as well. Thank you.